This is, every single movement on earth, and this is something for all of you to understand about all religious movements on earth, every single religious movement on earth began in the spirit world. Do you understand that? Absolutely. All of them came from inspiration in the spirit world, from spirits in the spirit world. The oneness movement was begun, begun in the spirit world, in the sixth sphere of the spirit world. Right? And uh, you can speak with the two spirits that are actually running it. They're a soulmate couple. And uh, they, you know, whether they'll speak with you is a different matter. Because mm -hmm. they, uh, at times, can be quite haughty at the moment. But they, uh, they, are, they are able to speak with you. They are spirits in the spirit world who have begun the movement. Are they divine love spirits? Or no. Natural love spirits? They're natural love spirits. Yeah. Uh, what about the ones working with the heart power process? Sorry? Uh, with the heart power process. And there are, there are divine love spirits involved in almost every religious form. But the ones who are receiving the channeled information through the earth, most of the time it's, it's happening through the intellect. Mm -hmm. and, and, and when I say through the intellect, there's emotions involved, but, but the majority of it is coming through different, different definitions. And, and that is all coming from the spirit world, mostly from natural love spirits. So, so almost every bit of spirituality you receive today, there's a mixture of divine love and natural love in it. Right? And, and many of the people even who are involved in giving that information to you don't even know the difference between the two loves. Because to a person on earth, the natural love of a six-fear spirit feels like divine love. Because right? if, if you can remember that I've said in previous things that almost every person on earth when they die passes into the first sphere. These spirits are in the sixth sphere. Now there's, there's five levels of gradations be, between those two points in love. Can you imagine what it feels like to feel a sixth sphere spirit's love? Right? Maybe you could describe it a bit for the people who haven't been in that state. Um, no, it's indescribable, but... Yeah. Well... <laughs> The state I was, you said the state I was in in India was a six sphere state, and I tried to describe it, and it was impossible. It was so what boring. happened to Grant in India was that he was taken out of body, and 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 in terms of to help you with you know your pain processing really, taken out of body and given some experiences, and perhaps you'd like to describe some of those experiences. These are all six fear spirit experiences. Well, for about five hours I was in a state that felt like a full body orgasm that got stronger and stronger and stronger. And I just felt at one with the universe and the joy felt infinite. <coughs> and I kept looking down at my body to see if it was still there because I felt I was one with everything. And it was more love and joy that I've ever felt in my whole life. And I felt like I was at one with God. Mm. So I wasn't receiving to end up that point. I was no, that, that that whole experience was given to you by some natural love spirits demonstrating to you the power of their love. Right, and that's a six fear state. And but they view themselves as God. Mm. Do you understand that? Every six fear spirit almost views themselves as God, it's because the, the way their intellectual reasoning is, I am God, you are God, everyone's God, everyone's God being expressed. It's very much conversations with God type thinking, if any of you read that. In the conversations with God, the viewpoint is that God split herself up into many to experience herself. Right? That's not the actual truth of God, but it's of what many spirits in the sixth fear believe. We've been taught that we're all uh, a part of God, and that we don't have to become one with God, all we have to do is awaken to God, and yes. it's in all the spiritual literature. You've been taught that you're already at one with God, you just don't remember. Mm -hmm. Right? And I'm saying that's not the case. God doesn't make you at one with God without your free will being involved. So uh, why don't people have, especially in, in that environment in the oneness university, yep. have very similar levels of experiences? Is it purely because of their emotional uh, blockages? People are on different levels, so they have experience it very differently, just as you yeah. would divine love. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very much so. Very much to do with the emotional blockages. Yeah. If I've got an emotional blockage to going out of body, then you won't have an experience oh, like France okay. had. Yeah, so clear. And an emotional blockage to going out of body might be a fear of disconnection with yourself. Like, so you're, you're afraid of anything spiritual. Mm -hmm. and, and most people on earth are afraid of, of that. 
And so for the majority of people on earth, they don't have that experience. And it's only after years and years of spiritual development that they feel comfortable enough to have that experience. And when they do, a six-fear spirit or, or a spirit of higher development uh, on the natural love path can assist you to have that experience. Right. Yeah. And the spirits in the divine love path can do that as well, by the way. Mm. Yeah, of course, all the spirits on the divine love path can do that. Yeah. It's just that they will not usually do it because their, their focus is your emotional development and you doing it for yourself. Mm. Right? So there's a completely different focus on the divine love path than there is on the natural love path. On the natural love path, you'll have lots of people helping you metaphysically. Do you understand what I mean by that? So in other words, they will help you have metaphysical experiences in order for you to feel more confident with your spiritual development. On the divine love path, the spirits who are assisting you will have, will have a more emotional focus. They will be constantly helping you to deal with your emotions so that you can actually trigger your own experiences. So they have it. So it's far, they are far more concerned about you exercising your free will rather than being assisted, if that makes sense. Now, most people on earth want assistance, right? They don't want to have to do it themselves because of an emotional injury, right? The emotional injury is I'm not good enough to do it myself. You know, I, I need help and assistance, I need someone to give me the leg up or whatever. And because of those emotions, we are constantly looking for help from spirits who will help us even though they're not helping our emotions. Right? And because of that, we attract natural love spirits. Divine love spirits are always going to focus on your emotions. Always. And they're going to focus on you being real at any point in your development. 